Hi everyone, today we will learn how to deploy your basic Spring Boot app into Heracu. I'm using React as my front-end framework, but you can use any other framework as well. So I've built here a very basic app. You can send your own entity here, press this button, and then you can get it back. Everything is running to the SQL and from the SQL. So even if you're thinking about more complex apps, it will work just the same. So without further ado, let's go to our React. Now I've created a very basic cheat sheet, which you can find in the comments below. We'll run npm run build in order there to build our React app. Here I do it, npm run build again, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and we'll run it. It will take a few seconds. Not too much, given you have a reasonable computer. And here we go. It has been built. Now we have a new file under our root folder. And we have finished our build. We can find it by clicking the right click and copy path in our VS code. Go to our file explorer, paste it here, and here it is. This is all of our first step, I believe. Just a second. Yes. No. Ah, before I forget, in your code, you probably have some links to your backend. So do make sure they have no localhost like this. You see, if I loaded localhost 8080, delete it before you build your pass. It is important, it won't work otherwise. So after that, Let's go to our Java. We need now to enter our build into our Java files. This is our second step. Using IntelliJ, I will open it for a second. And now we have a static folder under resources main, given you open using Spring Boot. If you didn't, just use, create it yourself. So into this static folder, we'll go to our file explorer. We just put our build files and just copy it here. Wait a few seconds, refactor. I will add it to git. And that's all. Here we have it in our Java file. So our next step will be to actually create our files. As you can see here, we need to create a few files to let Heracu know, know how our build is. First, you need to create a new file. It's all under the root folder. Do make sure you're there. File, and this is in our cheat chip, simply system properties. Make sure everything is exactly as it says here. Add it to git, yes, don't ask again. <laughs> and I put a text here just copy paste it there is no need to understand if you're using java 8 write 8 instead of tower 11 here our next file is proco file make sure you have capital letter inside of the proco file so here it is we'll create it Uh, oops, it is under test, not under, sorry, not under root folder. I'll move it to our root folder, sorry. Second, and it's in our root folder, very good. Now, for some reason, IntelliJ don't let you enter text into file without ending, so I will add .text to cheat on IntelliJ. It's here, and it will let me enter text inside it. So here is my text. Uh, sorry, yeah, here we are. <laughs> yes. Um, again, don't worry about what it says, just Control C, Control V here. And now we can delete our dot text because our text is indeed inside. So we've almost done with our Java. We do need to make sure our Heracu plugin and Postgre SQL are installed in our POMXML. So I already did put them there. I will show it 
and after that we'll open our hair view user so here it is you can see this is a plugin again everything is in the comments below we'll delete our sql my sql i've used it previously and we'll put the plugin in now it's uncommented very good i will reload my maven to make sure everything is working though it don't really matter since we will upload it to git so yep here it is and we finished our java steps now let's go to hierarchy we'll need to open a new hierarchy user i already did if you didn't open it and after that we'll create a new project press new wait a few seconds and create new app here we go we'll give it a new name i'm in europe so here europe it is and i can just simple so let's add an um, example in there say nice it's green and create app first we want to install our sql we'll be using postgre it is free so let's install it add-on and in our add-on we'll search for postgre or Postgre, whatever we call it. Install it. And now we can find it inside our app. Uh, sorry, we do need to enter our app name. So here it is. And press, do choose free, of course, and press OK. OK let's enter it just press on it we are under here wait a few seconds it will take it a few seconds and mm, stay where oops i've closed it sorry another round uh, not yet wait a few okay here we go here we go Go to settings. Yeah, we did it. Now let's go to settings in our Postgre and view credentials. Make sure you're here. View credentials. You have your, your username. This is our seventh step. Now we will go for our Java back. We do need to set application properties. So here, Java, IntelliJ, and application properties under resources. For the moment, it's empty. I did create your snippets earlier. You can find it as usual in the comments below. Now, make sure we have a URL, username, and password. We do need to fill them from our Postgre. This is our SQL connection. Here is my username, and here is my password, and my URI. It will go after the JDBC and before the question mark. At this point, our, we're almost finished. We just need to upload to GitHub. I will do it off screen, so I did it. Go to deploy and connect your GitHub. You will need to add your password if it is your first time. Choose your repository name and I think yes and connect it. Now a very few simple step. We'll need to enable automatic deploys and of course if you choose you don't have to and deploy branch. Now we wait a few seconds or a few minutes. So I've waited my few minutes and my app has been deployed successfully. So let's see if it's working. And here's my app. We'll send something. Thank you, Firefox. Submit query. And it is working. Congratulations, everyone.